Hello everyone and welcome to my first Dino Guide. Today we'll be discussing Planet Centauri's Leaf Fairy boss and how to defeat her. To find the Leaf Fairy you must first find the forest biome. This biome can be found by going straight left or right to the edge of your world until you find the giant trees with the green foresty field. So the Leaf Fairy boss can be found by going about midway through the biome and digging straight down. If a monster falls into your pit and you end up killing it, as can be shown here, you'll notice that the souls start to go to an unfamiliar location. So you want to follow the location of those souls because that is where the portal is to the boss. If you've saved up enough souls or if you kill enough monsters, you'll be able to unlock the, bu the portal and it costs around 3,000 souls to unlock total. Once you've gathered enough souls and prepared for battle, press R to go into the portal and she'll appear from this bulb and the battle will begin. The Leaf Fairy boss has four main attacks, each of which do 82 damage. Her first attack is going to be this light ball attack in which she teleports, sits still for a second, and then charges up and sends a ball straight at you until it hits you or hits the ground. Her next attack is going to be the spin attack as seen here, in which she stands around for a small amount of time after using one of her other moves, like that, and then she just teleports straight on you and spins. Her third move is going to be the Pyramid Beam attack in which she teleports straight up directly above you and tries to attack you by sending out beams in a pyramid shaped pattern. This, dodge, this move can be very difficult to avoid and takes some practice along the way. After you've been in the fight for a little while you'll start to notice that she has this Mimic attack in which she creates two to four Mimics that perform her Light Ball attack as well while she does a different move. This can range from either her doing also the light ball attack or her doing the pyramid attack in which you have to do a lot of dodging to try and avoid all this damage coming in at once. The correct way to counter this attack is to identify the darker mimic as the rest will be faded and attack it straight away as fast as possible. This will stop the other mimics from attacking and will leave her vulnerable for a few seconds. Now let's talk strategy. The best two items to defeat this boss are the lightning bolt and the golden bow. The reason for this is that both are very quick and do very high damage. Although not shown in this video, the best way to do this is to use the lightning bolt on her until you run out of stamina and then switch to your bow until you're able to regen or take a few potions in the meantime. As in this clip, you can use the sword in between your lightning bolt attacks, but just beware because she's very fast and you'll take a lot more damage trying to do the melee attacks as opposed to keeping your distance with the bow. I also wanted to talk quickly about her moveset. So her common pattern is 2-5 to five light balls into one of her other attacks, including a mimic plus beam attack. So one thing that I wanted to point out was that specifically after the mimic, when you do hit her straight away, she does sit there for a few seconds, allowing you to get in that good damage. One thing I would definitely recommend in your like little settings for this boss fight is setting your EQ as the dodge and dash uh, sets, as they'll allow you to quickly dodge around her moves, as she is very fast, as you can see here near the end of the fight. One quick thing I did want to mention for those of you struggling is you can cheese this boss by creating a small box right after you get in and most of her attacks will not be able to hit you. Now let's get to what we've all been waiting for is the loot. She drops the Druidic Armor set, each of which has 80 HP and 40 SP, offering great late game armor for those who want both SP and HP during those late game boss fights. Lastly, I wanted to rate this boss in terms of difficulty and give you my last final thoughts. So, in terms of difficulty, I give this boss a 3 out of 5 stars, but in terms of uniqueness and looks and mechanics and all that stuff, I give it a 100% 5 out of 5. I love that each move of hers is telegraphed and you're able to control your own destiny in this fight, meaning if sh you know a move is coming, you can easily dodge it or at least give yourself the chance to dodge it as opposed to bosses in other games so i really love that about her and that is going to be all for this episode i hope you guys enjoyed this is my first one so give me a break leave me some comments um at what i can do better and improve and as always this is down disguised going disguised